Okay, what's up everybody? You got your boy Blue Water Cowboy Mike back in the house. Um, I got a little bit something different going on today and uh, I thought that it'd be interesting to share it with you folks. So today I got a, um, I was supposed to go fishing but I'm, I'm doing really only remodeling today. And uh, so uh, Taco Hunter Warren, my friend uh, uh, that's been uh, fishing for octopus for that as long as I've been alive but anyway um, yeah so I got a phone call that uh, he caught some octopus today so um, I'm gonna go meet him up at the harbor and we're gonna get some fresh taco uh, I've been wanting to make um, some uh, panko taco grilled taco smoked taco I've been hung I've been hung I had I've been hungry for octopus so Let's go see what he has and what we can do with it. Yeah, you. This is Uncle Warren, the taco hunter, right here, and the chef. So, we're here to see what's going on. How'd you do today? Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. That's some big boys. Yeah. Wow. Some big fingers on that. Oh my goodness. Look at that. So, um, <clears throat> so I'm making a video because I want to ask you what's the best way to prepare these guys you know there's there's you know a uh, uh, hundred and one different ways that uh, we, we can prepare it so what, what is your recommendation because you've been doing how long have you been doing I've been doing it about 35 years now so all right so what is the what is the best way to yeah I would suggest um, just frying it you know um, people love frying it because it reserves all of the octopus or Hawaiian taco flavor I see and that's the reason why I say do it that way so what you want to do is wash them good with the Hawaiian salt rinse out all of the salt make sure it's not too salty that way because when you're doing a washing process with the Hawaiian salt it tends to get a little salty if you don't wash it good with running water and then after you do that process, you want to get them over to a cutting board and if you want to pound it out with a meat tenderizer, get it all tender. Um, that's what you try to do to break down the muscle tissue so that when you fry them, they don't, uh, it doesn't bundle up and get all tight and all too hard, too hard and chewy to eat. But if you tenderize it just like that, it's going to um, put it in some cornstarch and flour, you fry them up. It's going to taste marvelous, you know, it's fry them up till it's crispy and it's like crispy on the outside 
tender and a somewhat slight chew in there which even it's, it's even better yeah a little slight chew yeah um, you don't want it too soft yeah because otherwise it's uh, you don't have any texture in there and it's very important for the um, the overall um, product itself yeah. and what is the what, what would you say the recommend time for frying it'll be probably uh, roughly, roughly yeah depending how thick you slice those pieces you want to slice them thin you don't want to slice them too thick right so right. if you slice them thin enough then you're going to approximately get about three minutes maybe cooking time it's not going to be a um, long process at all because if you slice them thin the fire is hot enough it's going to make the nice so it's like it's like a steak you don't want to overcook it it's going to get too tough well you even if you overcook it, it's okay. But you you want to you don't want to overcook it where you, you you take away all that flavor from the octopus. Yeah, you want to reserve see. some of that. Yeah, and so then mm -hmm. what do you think about? Because I boiled my taco yeah. and um, I really didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. It came out really tough and really yeah. chewy. Yeah. Now, if you're gonna boil taco, it's a totally different story now. Okay. So now the meat tend oh that tenderizing process. You don't have to go through any of that. So far as that lomi lomi or what we call massaging and all that, just throw that out the window. All you gotta do is wash the taco, like I said, with the um, good with the Hawaiian salt, rub it in good, rinse it off good. The tenderizing process is not how much you pound it now. In this case, because we're boiling it, it's a different story. What's gonna make the octopus come soft and tender to your liking is the amount of time that you got it simmering in liquid which is plain water. You can add some sake or beer in there, whatever you want. You can add some some of your favorite hard liquor if you want, like the, the vodka or the brandy, whatever you want. The idea is have enough liquid to cover that guy, bring it up to a boil, and like making a stock, you wanna just put the cover on and just let it simmer so that it's simmering for a long period of time in which you're gonna use your fork to be the judge of the tenderness. I cannot tell you how long it's going to take because oh my every goodness. octopus, oh yeah, my no, goodness. every taco is, you know, it depends how thick your taco is. It may depend on how long you had it in the freezer because the freezer is another tenderizing process. Yeah. Right. But putting all that together, use your fork and let it go in and out. And that's the best judge. You're going to say, oh, right about there. It's going to be good. So now when I use my knife after I cool it off and make like some nice thin sashimi slices, you're good to go. Whatever sauce you want to eat with it, I tell you, it's like we call abalone, you know, the abalone texture. We call it, you know, we love abalone. I call this taco loni because it's like taco and it's like you're eating abalone. And oh, fantastic. boy. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting excited. All right. Yeah, yeah. So. We're gonna get we're gonna get that knowledge. We're gonna get back into the kitchen That's right. and uh, let's get some stuff going, guys. Yeah, you. Okay then. Aloha. All these guys are big boys. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. at least four pounds. Wow. Nice. Oh. Oh. So yeah, I edit everything. So yeah. I put music. So that's what they want to see, right? Yeah, they they want to see, they want to see the thing moving, and, <laughs> you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we are. We got that fresh taco. So I bought um, fresh taco for me and my friends. So some people want it for bait and some people want it to grill. So today, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a small taco because it's only gonna be me and my wife. So right here, we got a two pound octopus right here. I'm gonna clean this guy out, put some salt and scrub it down and fry this bad boy up yeah you let's go all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some sea salt on top of the octopus and you wanna be generous with it because the point of the salt is to scrub the slime off 
because this uh, octopus has a slime. So, put it in the pan, stir it up. And the salt scratches, scratches the, the skin. And eventually, you can tell that the slime's coming off because it gets slimy. part you want to rinse off the salt like he said really thoroughly so you might want to rinse it a few times alright let's go alright so I rinsed it like this this is the third time I'm rinsing it so you want to wash the salt out of it Pat it off dry as best as we can. So when we end up uh, pounding it, uh, it doesn't slip around. Okay, so use a lot of napkins. You can use loose newspaper if you want. But you want to get it really dry. Okay. As best as you can. because it starts to stick to everything. All right, we got that. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove um, Octopus has an eyeball over here, uh, eye system over here. So what I do is I just pick up the nose, cut it right through. This is gone. And then underneath there's a beak, so this is where it eats. And we're gonna remove that. Said, this is, this is what we're doing now. So last the, last, the other video, I ended up boiling the octopus and uh, he said that that was not a good idea because he ended up overcooking it. So we're gonna do it this way and it should be a lot better. So, all right, let's get to it. I'm just gonna put this in, so I'm just gonna put this in the one gallon Ziploc bag. Once you start pounding it, you can feel that it's soft already, where I was, I, was, I was hitting. So, in reality, you don't have to get too nuts. Alright, so here we are. 
if you look, the thing almost doubled in size. It was only half the, the bag, you know. And now look. Yeah, so here we go. Uh, okay, so what he said was cook it up to bite sized pieces. making them like I don't know taco poke size you can say so I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt and uh, a little bit of black pepper and you don't want to overdo it because you don't want it to overpower the uh, octopus flavor because it, there's a sweet um, and then you want to stir this up and get it all broadcast well, of course. And like I said, don't over season. Then we're going to put some cornstarch to dust it off. Now what this does is it's going to separate the pieces apart and it's going to create a crust. So that's the reason why people put cornstarch on almost everything they fry. But, yeah, so it's seasoned, and now it's dusted for some separation, okay, and it might absorb a little bit, and then you might have to put a little more, but there you go. Alright, so here are the ingredients that we're going to need. We're going to need our, of course, our garlic, our butter, we've got shallots, American parsley, and our octopus. So we're going to throw that into the frying pan and get that started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in the butter. We're going to let that uh, melt. Alright, so this part we're going to add some white wine. We have about four tablespoons. And we're going to reduce this just a little bit. Alright, so it's reduced. Now we're going to add our fresh parsley. Oh, we can take it off the heat. You see how the butter is separated from the rest of the ingredients, like the oil. Dragged in, guys. So, we, we, what? From Maui. Big Maui. 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 Kyle would say crap. <laughs> what this guy got? 
OPGP, straight from Maui. Three. Just like the bullet. Wow, that's beautiful. That's oh, that's for Ono right there. Yeah. <clears throat> you try it. You gotta dip it in the sauce. And some 45s. Look at that. Some gold stuff. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah? Okay, now wait, wait, wait. Grab the toast, <clears throat> and then grab the taco with the toast and the butter and stuff. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah, That's back good. To, back to, back to oh, back to these. Back to these. Mike said he wants to show off his yeah. stuff. Look at this. This is, uh, this is called, I don't know what you call it. Uh, cigar. Nine cigar. Nine inch. Oh, I like that one. And this one, look at this right here. This is a little guy. Yeah, look at that. All his shells are custom made. He makes it himself? He has it made by one of his friends. What's the guy's name? Gary OPEP. Gary OPEP. All right. I, I didn't toast the bread, supposed to be toast, but you grab you grab the taco. Yeah, you, you can grab it. Like, you know, oh, I'm pinch on it. pinch on yeah. You can contract your fingers. Okay, and and then you hit them. Shove it in your face. Octopus. Good. It's not bad. And then this one, you dip it into the cocktail sauce. It's not bad. It's great. It's really oh, good. Yeah, you. Hmm. You're supposed to dip it in this. No need. Yeah, but you try try with that. I like it just the way that. All right. <laughs> yeah, you. Check this out. Look at these guys brought back from the Big Island. Some venison. Oh, Maui, Maui. From Maui, a deer burger. I'm gonna make some deer burgers and feed it to these guys. All right, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, you. Right on, everybody. Thanks for coming aboard. Thanks for tuning in. I got a lot of content coming up, so um, wash your hands, you know what I mean? Numbers going back up and all of that stuff, so. But like I said, I got a lot of content, so I'll be posting up in the next couple of days. I'll be doing a giveaway with the Hanapa gift card for you folks. I got two of them. So I got all you guys' names from Christmas. So don't you worry. I got everybody that said got that, that donkey. So I just got to find time to put it together. So maybe by the end of the week. Anyway, all right. This is uh, Takusaki special. Your boy Blue Water Mike. Fishing Machine 808 Mike right there. And Kyle. Yeah, you. See you guys on the next one. Peace out. Oh my God. That was good, dude. Yeah. I like it. I can't complain. It's better than eating snails. Mmm.